In this next episode of In The Red, I am taking on my sternest test yet. This venue has hosted many Open Championship and has been regarded as one of the best Open Championship courses. Today, we are taking on the stunning Elsa at Turnbury. Last time at Presswick, it didn't quite go to plan, but today, we're going to see if I can get in the red and try and emulate some of the greatness that we saw from the duel in the sun between Tom Watson and Jack Nicklaus in 1977 and try and play my best golf yet. Let's head down to the first tee and see if we can get the job done. Guys, just to remind you that uh, your halfway house is open today. Yeah. I can thoroughly recommend playing to the white tees this morning. Yeah. Measuring 6,500 and change. Every inch pleasurable, and I'm sure you'll make some uh, some special memories. We'll try, we'll try. Right. Thank you, David. Absolute pleasure. Guys, enjoy yep. uh, your round of golf. Perfect, thank you. Have Absolute a good day. Pleasure. Well, I think there's nothing more to say. David did a fantastic job there of giving us some info about this first hole. But like you said, dog leg left to right. Got my GPS on today. It is quite away from here. 400 yards, pretty much, this hole. Those four bunkers down in the fairway are the, the ones we've got to miss. We're going to go five wood. Little cut. Presswick didn't go to plan last time. But I think today I'm feeling confident. It's a nice calm day as well. Not much wind. Rain's going to hold out for us. So let's see what we can do. Play well, everyone. Enjoy it. If you haven't already, subscribe. Let's enjoy this Elsa course. I'm excited for this one. A little bit down the left. Just going to pull up shy of that track because I didn't quite get it. Nerves on that one. A little sky for my first shot. A little bit sky, but we shall get away and hopefully do better. Interest in this course. There's a lot of undulation around the greens, and you've really got to be on it with your irons. This first hole, the, uh, there's a big mound up onto the green, really false fronted. I've got 166 to the flag, so I'm going to go eight iron just to try and get it up in the air a little bit more and carry it onto the flag. And if it goes a little bit beyond, that's okay. Fraction left of the flag, it's looking. Hopefully, it's a good number. Should be okay. Responded well. I obviously knew to hit it into this undulation here, I knew that was there all along. My main priority for the day today, stay calm, enjoy it, and don't be greedy. Just fairways and greens as normal. If we can do that round here, we should have an okay round. We're gonna, gonna have a couple of bad holes, I know that, but there's also enough opportunities for birdie, given how pure the greens are as well. I could see if I hit a few decent shots, I could roll a couple in. The way that hole's cut, it looks like you could cut yourself on it, is that crisp? <laughs> oh. Never leave it short, Matt. That's disappointing, but hey-ho, I'll take a four down there. A tough start, that hole. A tough start. You could sell that in one of the Open Championships that were here. Four of them have been held here at Turnbury. Last winner. Stuart Sink broke many people's heart, stole it from Tom Watson. He did obviously play fantastic golf, but yeah, some open that 2009. Anyway, a par to start. It's a bit better. The last couple of episodes, totally different starts. Normally we're making bogeys, doubles, triples, birdies, and pars now. Welcome to 2024, folks. So our second hole plays 375, and it's First proper view of the ocean you get here. You can just about make out the Elsa Crag over in the distance. And as you pan to the right, you actually see the Isle of Arran. And you also just see the lighthouse, the famous lighthouse just poking up in the distance there. This hole though, 375, there's some bunkers at 232. So uh, I'm just gonna lay up short of them because it only leaves you about 140 in. Hit it about 220, four iron. Oh, pulled it. Keep going a little bit left or get short of it. It's okay. Not the worst miss that. I would have taken more club. I would have run the risk of those bunkers, but we're okay. Right, 160. Last shot was 166. 
and I pitched it pretty much on 6-3. That was out of a not flyery lie, that one is. So I'm gonna go 9-9 here because I think this will jump a bit and also I think the pin's at the back. Oh, has it gone left? If it's gone left, we don't want to miss that because it all falls away. All falls away and it will be a treacherous up and down, but hmm, interesting. A little bit pulley, but we've got shy of the bush, which is okay. Just pop it on shy and let it bumble up. Sit. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit of work to do. Shouldn't be missing greens with nine irons. I knew this fell away as well, but it was not my first thought. Should have owned a bit more central and, and put it there, but nothing a good putt can't solve. Right, a little bit of tidying up work to do, Matthew. Come on. Oh, I've hit it through the break. Should have aimed centre with that. It's annoying, annoying bogey that. Those those are the mistakes I shouldn't be making. Nine iron into a green, got the fat of the green and I pull it and then leave myself too much work to do but try and play a bit more sensible, be a bit more selective I think in, in the shots I'm hitting, don't be too blase, I actually need to think about what I'm doing. Right, our third hole is 390 yards. There is, it's 270 to get up to the gorse on the left. The bunkers aren't really in play, they're only 240 to get over. Dog legs left to right, so I'm gonna go down the left with a little cut with the driver. Well, it's down the fairway. Softly. Might have just run into the semi, but it's safe. It is safe. Good shot from there. Makes up for the last. Well, we've just run through into the semi. I thought it was going to be my first fairway. And interesting, that's only 38% of fairways are hit around this golf course and only 29% of greens. The, uh, the scoring average on shot scope as well is in that high 80s. I think it's around 87. So hopefully I can do better than that. I want to try and hit a few more greens. I don't mind if I'm just off them. It's when I'm really putting myself in a position where I, uh, I can't recover from with a par. And then obviously those greens like we saw on the last, I need to be a little bit more selective. So here, the ball's feeding, the ball's below my feet, so it should technically go right. Pins on the right, so I'm just gonna air a little bit left, allowing it to feed. I've got 105 to it. I'm gonna try and fly it about 95 and let it just feed up to that flag. I've got to put a picture in my head and I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. That's okay that, we've got a chance there. It is another holeable putt. Surfaces look so good. That last one, I just bolted through the brake a little bit. Probably a reaction to leaving the first putt short. But uh, I think I've got a good idea of the pace. This one's just falling out to the right here. About one ball's worth of brake. In it. I thought that was in all the way then. Rolled it exactly where I thought. Now you put two out of three holes we've had a birdie put, so if I can keep that ratio up and actually hole a few, I'm happy. Look at that though. What a view. Just getting a little bit clearer as well now. We're out. 7.15 I think we went out this morning, so sun might poke up here. As long as it's not raining, we're all good. Our fourth hole, a par three, woe betide, which actually is a little warning to be wary of the fourth of Clyde for all those in the know. If you know, you know. It's 197 for us today. There is a bunker front left of the green is sort of the real trouble. Um, so the flag is actually up on the right. I'm going to aim at the flag and try and fade it off it because 
everything will say like bounce back towards the flag from up on the right and obviously that trap is the one place you don't want to go so five iron should carry on to it leaves the sort of middle of the green and we get a good good look at it oh leaked it right that is an awful golf swing it's got over the hill on the other side but there was just nothing good about that so snatchy at the top ah, that's annoying what do we do here we've missed it there everything's going to kick this way i almost need to either land it up here very softly to let it down or you try and fly it all the way i think my ball's there land it on the knoll with a a lofted shot it's not lying too bad so we give yourself a 10 footer pretty much how i thought it would go hard to get it to stop with it coming out downhill out of wet rough but we've given ourselves a chance that's the main thing it's a bit longer than 10 foot about 15 but I've held plenty of 15 footers in my time. Break, 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 break. Ah, thought I was gonna swing from that. Well, strange really. I've had two really good looks at birdie. Then I've made two bogeys. So I'm two over par after four holes, yet I feel like I'm sort of level par really I know I'm not but I think if I can keep just get rid of those two oh, I mean I've hit two loose shots I think but four holes in a nice settle into the round I think I, I've hit it nicely let's get through the next five if we can claw a couple back I'm happy with that fifth hole here par five 501 yards dog legs right to left there's a couple of bunkers down the left hand side that are 297 then a few further on as well so they are very well placed to catch a drive today so i'm going to aim at the just the right hand side of the left bunkers and just try and fade it off those get it in play and if we can get up in two that would be a nice nice look at the big bird Well, it is laser straight down the middle. Not my best strike, but we're on the short stuff. That's all that counts. It's all that matters. 238 yards we've got left into this one. Up to the flag. There's a lot of bunkers up around this green. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six from here. I think there's another one. Flag's back, back left. It's two tiered as well. So you need to give it everything to get up there. I think it's just a, a rescue club up the right. Leave myself a good pitch or put if I don't quite get it up onto the green. But it's green light, we're going for it. Oh, Matthew! Oh, well, it's not my good work need to hit good shots at the right time and I don't do it well it's another birdie chance from another horrible position not the way I thought we'd get here but it doesn't matter if there's a four going on the card at the end of it five look at the salt tire now just just whipping in the wind there some view that some view right onwards our six hole here incredible par three start to get a real sense of the uh the irish sea here just being there I, aaron becomes a lot clearer elsa crag just in the distance and this par three i mean not only is it stunning the green wise big upturned saucer three dramatic bunkers around it 
Well, there's 10 different T's for this hole. You've got one, two, three down there. There's four, five, six, and then back there is seven, eight, nine, and then further on, there's another one. Just 10 T's for one, one hole. One hole, it's incredible. It's 143. The wind's actually starting to pick up a little bit now. So that is very, very close to the front of the green. So 150 is normally a nine iron. So if I don't strike it, I don't think it gets there. I think I just hit a little eight, play to the middle, which will be about one, 155, chip an eight. And uh, hopefully just get the green, middle of the green. Don't care about the flag on this. Great shot, Matt. Get in the trap. I have made some funky swings. My mind when I'm playing golf, if I can sort that, no issues. I have a real issue with focusing on what I'm about to do. That one I was thinking about, I've not marked my card now. And before I knew it, I was at the top of my backswing. I'd imagine a lot of people out there have similar issues. Silly, silly boy. This is a real momentum booster if we knock this one in. Thinking about a text message then. Well, quick double there. Had a six footer for par and now a five over par. Well, six holes in, not, not the start I anticipated or not, I mean, I've hit some really nice shots and then I've just had a couple of just mind melts. If I can get out of my own way, I think that's the actual thing that's stopping me playing good golf is, is my brain. I almost need to become brain dead so I can't think and just do. But plenty of golf to be played. We're on a gorgeous golf course. I can battle my way back. Let's see if we can get it back to level. If we get, well, level or two overs my bracket i will now want to get into we're on a par five which is a seventh a dog leg from right to left there's some bunkers at two three five that i can go over if we can get over those in the fairway again gives us a good look just need to clear my mind clear visions get out of your own head there you go clear vision and you do exactly what you intend to do straight down the middle in the fairway just clear your mind need some meditation i need a jason day meditation routine i think 173 is the number seven iron is the club middle of the green all feeds back to the flag pick your shot pick your flight i can actually pretty much go i'm going to go in between the lighthouse and the flag because the ball's slightly above my feet so it should theoretically come left for me a little bit. I'm just gonna try and hit a fade up there. Wow. A pull left. Right, we've missed the green. Poor swing. Get it up here, it feeds round. I've almost got like a bit of a backstop here from where I am down there. I'm pitching and trying to land it around here somewhere should feed to the flag if I get a bit aggressive it should stop but up and down come on come on oh, I just needed about a foot more we've got a chance though that's all we need Flag in's the way, flag in's the way. Forget everything I've ever said on any video about having the flag out. I was totally wrong. Right, I got it wrong on the tee. I'm not five over, it was four over. I've had two bogeys and a double and one par and one birdie. So now, now we get to three. I'm gonna stop thinking about score, clear mind. That's all we're having. Clear mind is my only process. Onwards, let's go. 
Right, we hear the waves. That's what I need, a little bit of tranquility. Just the sound of waves crashing. Just let the mind be free. Need that on repeat in my head instead of all the jargon that goes around in there. But this eighth hole, a gorgeous one. Blindish tee shot. You can see two bunkers, the fairway banks from right to left. Then we raise up to the uh, green in the corner. It's 421 yards off this tee. There is a bunker at 286 is the, uh, the furthest one we can see. So we're gonna go left of that. Good driver. The other one's at 230. So if I can get this away nicely, which has been you know, a good club for me today, it sets up a nice chance to be fair. So pick your target, let's do it. Little fade off the bin. Oh, I've got underneath that. It's out right. It's actually okay over there, but just up past over the hill. A little bit steery that one didn't commit. We'll find it. We'll be okay though. 172 from here to the front, 195 to the middle. It's sat on a weird little like bit of grass, but it's my footing that's the issue. Now if I can get it near front edge, it's just over there. It's almost not a bunker this, it's like it's wasteland, it's like an old mound. 260 off the tee this. That's gonna come out pretty well to be fair. I've got to be careful I don't sort of ground it because it's looks like it's gonna fall if I hit that. So I'm gonna risk a five because it's on a tee peg it looks a bit like. These sort of shots I always find I'm more committed and have a clearer mind because I've got a real definitive shot that I have to hit. So I'm just gonna get it up there, over that lip, that launch angle. Oh, please be good. Please be really good. Just gone over the bunker on the right. I think I can see it just pretty much on the fringe or just off the side of the green but I enjoyed that wasn't meant to be there but it was a fun shot that one that was a fun shot oh see my foot twist there through impact a little bit of Ted dancing skills so we actually ended up hitting the green there it's pitched just on the knoll and kicked round and now I've got a 20 footer for a birdie. This would be some three. Committed shot there, quicker swing, let it go, blank mind. Had the line, just didn't have the legs. Uh, I'll take a four from where I was, but we just need this momentum now. Find a little bit of luck. Let's keep it going. So we're on the ninth hole, one of the most iconic holes here on the Elsa course. Par three, 210 off this tee. You get to see a good view of the lighthouse. You can see all the rock faces here. Dramatic, this is one of the holes that change. But if you just come with me here, this is where they would play when the Open was here or any championship and it becomes I think about 240, 250 as a par three, and you get a proper view straight over and you actually end up hitting out over the bay here. It is incredible. And sometimes you even get seals hanging around on the, on the rocks here as you're playing. 248 yards. I mean, what a golf hole. That is incredible. Be some two down here. Imagine making an ace on here. I think that's it. You're not going to get much better in the game than that. Iconic lighthouse just poking through there. What a golf hole. 204 yards to that flag today. So I'm going to go five iron. Give it a good swing. Be a bit more committed. I'm right on the verge of getting about five yards by. So I don't want to try and nestle a little four iron. I want to be a bit more aggressive in my swings. Little fade from the middle of the green. 
Well, I got the strike, but I've pulled. It's about the seventh shot I've pulled today. I didn't actually see that land. Was it okay? It was just at the left of the tracks. It's pulley again. Yeah, not good. Should have hit four iron. Okay, well, I'm pin high. Bottom left, I'm down a little bit of rough. It's actually not too bad, it's quite a juicy lie. So, about a 30 yard pitch up across. This would be a lovely up and down if we could get it. Oh, I've duffed it. Duffed it enough that it skidded up and ran on, so I'll probably have about 20 feet maybe, but just got a bit snagged, didn't quite accelerate through. Well, four over to tie it out the nine, I would say. Some good, some bad, some ugly, some great. Course has been fantastic though, thus far. We're gonna battle back on the back nine though. Let's go, let's get it, but before that, let's go and enjoy a refreshment in that nice lighthouse there. Just got to the best halfway house in the world, voted four times in a row, the best halfway house in the world. And it's pretty easy to see why. What an incredible view. There's actually a bedroom suite as well that's on top of here as well. That, um, I think you can get access up into the lighthouse bit part of it, um, the actual like turret bit of it, which is incredible, but seriously stunning views. If you were uh, out here in the sunshine, I think your, uh, your round might be about seven hours because you'd end up having four or five pints down there and enjoying a spectacular view. But we're heading to the tent. We're going to get a few shots under par and get back in style. Let's go. Right, back to the golf. Back to the golf. Tenth hole is 498. One of my favourite holes here. It's a par five downhill and sweeps around the bay. Reminds me a little bit of the 12th at King's Barnes. Similar sort of layout. There's a bunker at 290 down in this fairway though, right in the middle. I'm going to just try and fade it off that. And hopefully we've got a chance of getting up in two. Wasn't my fade, it's bullet straight. Just down the left side. Oh, it's a monster as well. Running by the trap. Green light. Let's go, getting birdies. 176 into the flag a little bit of wind. A little wind in two. I'm going to hit a six iron, start it up the right and just hopefully bring it in because left is not good and I've been pulling everything. There's a bunker short of the green that's at 165 to carry. So if I can just go up the right, knowing that I've been pulling, I might, you know, if I hit it straight, I'm on the green. If I pull it, I'm on the flag. That's the plan anyway. A tiny little draw at the flag, be a good number. chances right that's that's two sort of blank minded swings that's what we need that's all we need if we can get those turn off my idiot brain turn off the chimp and we're good good luck here my friends a good luck up down and goes right slightly Just swung a load across the face of the hole there, but. That was a very stress-free hole. Just need eight more of those. Just like that. Execute, commit. I think it was, it was par five that, wasn't it? It was par five, so it's a birdie. One ticked off. Let's keep it going. Six under on the back nine. Be like the jewel in the sun it'll be like the jewel in the sun just a bit better so the 11th hole here on the elsa another 
all the par threes are just brilliant. Very dramatic, all of them. Rock faces eating into the, almost the side of the green here. You can't go left. There's a couple of bunkers up right as well. One short of the green that's only um, 155 and then one that's about pin high today, 170. Flag's 167. It's pretty much a similar shot to what I've just hit into a 10. That was a little bit more directly into the wind. This is gonna play slightly across, but I'm gonna just try and hit the same shot. And if I do, I should be about pin high, I reckon, because it was just a tad short on that one, even though I hit it nice. So good six iron, let the wind do what it wants to it. But I'm gonna play up the right, anticipate that little bit of pull that we've got going on. I've leaked it right, first one I've aimed right, and leaked right. Missed the trap, might see that appear. Hopefully it stayed shy of the trap, but I don't know, don't know. Not a good swing, terrible timing. Well, not the place we wanted to end up, it's not the worst shot, because all I need to do is get this just onto the green, about two or three feet left of it, and it will trundle down towards the flag, and I've not really got much of the lip. If the pin was back here, it becomes a bit more of a difficult task, but. Well, pretty much how I saw that one. So we're getting a little bit clearer in the mind. We're getting the vision, hopefully. That can see us through. Look at that professional rake job there as well, everyone. Hope you appreciated that one. Tap it in. Right. I think that's the first successful up and down I've had this uh, this round. Come on. Actual golf is being played this nine. On to the next. Come on. So our 12th hole here, you can actually see a memorial up on the right hand side um, a large monument that was actually put up for all the soldiers that were lost during one of the world wars because Turnbury was actually an air force base during that period and if you just look over to the left of the hole here you can actually see the old runway so it's not in any use anymore but that is where the planes used to come in and land and everything and they were sort of patrolling around here would use use the hotel and all the grounds as the base so the, the memorial was erected for all the soldiers that were sadly lost there but a great hole 388 yards you really see the gorse just punching in it's quite a generous fairway but because of the gorse it makes you question there is a bunker at 260 down the right a couple down the left that are, are shorter than that but it's a good drive away here and you should theoretically I should have a, a wedge in or something and have a good look at maybe ticking another Another birdie off, but let's get it done. Let's hit that tee shot, commit, little fade down the left off that trap. Oh, I didn't quite get it, it's just out of the bottom. Get over. So I've got over the trap, luckily. It was the right shot, but just, just didn't quite strike it and had a bit more shape, but we've covered the trap, so we're okay. Now, we should have something to go at. 130 yards we find ourselves here. We're out of a bit of a juicy lie and it's slightly downwind. I think it might run a bit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 50 because I think it's gonna pop on me. Lucky, literally I've covered that bunker by two paces. It's all changing, a little spectator in the background. My mate Phil the pheasant. Yeah, give this a smash and I reckon I, I get this up on, so. Pulled it and it's gone pretty much straight at it. That'll do. Phil, appreciate your support. Appreciate it. Top lad, Phil, top lad. Didn't give it enough pace. Good read, but died low. We'll tick it off though, a bit more consistency than the front nine. 
another par next hole is a little bit of a tricky one a lot of bunkering but get through this green lights on we're going for it 13th hole here 380 yards a slight dog leg left to right but plays pretty straight if you cut the corner there's a bunker down at 260 which is the longest one and then there's two coming backwards about 30 yards apart each so if i can get driver hit a little cut off it we're safe to cover it and that feeds nicely for the hole I want to get a, a green light here for hitting a, a wedge nice and close come on let's get a bit more pace in this driver swing just a little bit too much fade on it but it's going to be fine over that last mound and jobs are good and onwards come out for a view as well morning starting to clear a little bit more you can see Aaron a bit clearer not a bad backdrop and the Elsa for ages very visual now very just in the right semi here now got a pretty good angle in to be fair this green's actually got two tiers to it and it looks like the pin's about three or four yards off being up on the top tier so 91 this was actually the shot i think it was 87 on the range i was practicing so i should hopefully hopefully have this yardage in me i'm just going to air a little bit right because the green falls away on the left here Snag me. Go on, run up. That was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Really need to spend some time on my wedge work. Gonna go Scottish wedge here. Up the tier. So here, yet again, I'm scrambling for a par with a wedge in my hand. It's, it's infuriating. I need a whole new mindset with them. Focus at the task in hand. And a little pitch mark and it just hopped it didn't hit the ground until about 10 feet in front there that was good shouldn't have been there in the first place though remember that folks right come on a little right to left -er. well, it's a good save it is a good save at the end of the day but shouldn't be shouldn't be scrambling for a par at 100 yards out need need a serious sit down i think we need a team meeting we need to be honest with each other about our wedge game and we need to action it because we just can't carry on like this we can't our 14th hole is a par five playing back towards the lighthouse glorious one you see a lot more gorse on this side of the course creeps in on the right here bunkers that are only 210 to get over so the one on the left we go up there try and just hit a tiny fade over the left hand bunker and we should be good come on let's let's get our foot down no more silly mistakes hold your line just down the right side of the fairway yep perfect little fade over the trap and we are good more like it matthew fairway knock it on let's do this don't leave yourself a wedge because you're about as much use as a chocolate fire guard with a wedge aren't you fairway found raised green this one some bunkers shy but 226 to the flag there is a bunker up in the left that we can see i'm going to be a little bit obscured by the view of the gorse here but 226 what am i up to the front Two, what, two one nine nine up to the front. I don't think it's. It's only two thirty to the back. Two twenty five. I think it's just a good four iron, solid four iron. Let it fly. Let's do it. Let's hit a great shot. Hit that like button. Give me some encouragement. Smash the like for a great shot now. Center of the green. Needs to go a little bit didn't quite get it didn't quite get it and it's just come out a little bit shy uh, wedge time we can do that though we can i promise 
only five yards off the front wasn't my my best strike there but pretty straightforward pitch now just land it probably a third up let it run all the way up these little slopes that pins are quite a way back there not bad it looks pin high just pulled it ever so slightly but I think I think I've got about six feet for Pada Bandy. Back nine, a lot better, a lot more regimented. Creeps it, creeps it. It's a birdie. Only two over par. Not saying we're gonna do it, but we're creeping back towards it. Right, three holes to no, four holes to go. Probably shoot six under now after that 185 I think it's just a, a nice six iron seven iron maybe doesn't get there just with the wind and a little bit of coldness I think just a nice cutty six iron up the left all feeds in three bunkers up there but got a lovely visual dead that was so annoying I struck it well and just didn't commit to turning ah there's one place you can't go on 15 and I'm stood on it to the right hand side silly shot should have got on top of it more just lazy got a pitch up now though through there Who? That will do. We've got chances. We've got chances. Come on. Keep positivity rolling. Great putt, Matt. That was rubbish. That was well rubbish. 16th hole starts a hard stretch coming in. Four at three par fours to finish all over 420 yards I think or 417 might be the shortest but a tough little stretch here this is where champions are made down this one but for me dog leg left to right the 16th only a tiny one there is a bunker at 285 that you can't see off the tee because of the gorse there's a bunker at 250 on the right as well so it's pick a chimney pot up at the uh, the hotel in the distance and commit to your line and then let's just give it a good hit and see if we can sneak a couple back that would be nice if we can get one I'd be pretty happy with that that's the best drive I've hit today there little cut straight down the middle hopefully got a straight bounce but it should be spot on that one we are sat flat bang in the middle here folks 100 yards now this hole is a frisky little little minx if you uh, don't study it what you wouldn't notice is actually there's a burn running all the way in front and all the way around to where that bridge is I have been caught out a few times by that so I'm just going to go a little bit left and it's all false front it's 100 yards but I need to play it as if it's 105 realistically just to make sure I'm not near that little burn 54 degree, come on. Wasn't my best strike, but it's probably the best wedge I've hit all week in terms of distance and direction. Did what we needed to do and stayed away from that little burn. And now it looks like I've got about 15 feet for a redemption birdie. This is what I'm talking about. If you pitch your ball here with any kind of spin, just gathers a little bit of momentum. You've got to be a seriously lucky cat. Get it stopping before that bank because it's all shaved. Any momentum, it's gone. So that pin, if that was open championship, I would imagine it'd be somewhere around there. And that would be one nervy place to be. Fancy I'd fat it if I was in that position. But today, we've not. We've got a downhiller and a tiny, tiny little bit of break in it. Oh, 
long it was end over end and I thought it was going to hold I didn't see as much break as that at the end but I'll take a four down there like I said on the tee a stretch of holes that will test you three fours won't be bad but could do with a birdie birdie finish to shoot level I'd be very impressed with that given it nine holes I was four over par and didn't feel great about the game but we've battled on let's see what we can do down these last two 449 the 17th a good one a velvet you go down to the fairway and then up onto an elevated green bunker at 270 down the right requires a good drive like the last solid shot if we can get something we've we've struck gold oh i've pulled it left That is in the hands of the gods. I'm gonna have to hit a provisional. Ah. Wish I would have done that first time. A little bit toey, but straight down the banner. Ah, right. Let's hope the first one's okay. Well, sometimes you need a little bit of luck and we've just got it. Just up on top. It sat okay, but I've got like a lump of grass and a little plant in front of me so i don't know how it's going to come out but luckily i'm only 180 to the front it is a bit downwind so i've got seven iron just hoping i can get this probably need eight but I'm not going back down the hill get it in the front of the stance get it up in the air it is 200 to the back of the green so this should be okay it's just about how it comes out really Oh my god, that's gone left. I'm on the King Robert the Bruce course nearly. Stop shy of some uh, some gorse down there. Be nice to see this hole. We might up and down it for the, the greatest ever par. This could be a great excuse to get a new wedge because I'm close up to the bush. I'm going to just have to commit to going into it luckily 60 degrees going to pop it out and i've only got 50 yards to the flag so just commit aim a bit left because it will go right on me come on swing round not bad pin high we've got a chance we've got a chance folks par and birdie the last and we've had a good good knock this for a wild four. How's that not turned on me? Probably because you blasted it through the brake, Matthew. Hey, a bogey, a bogey, 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 bogey. We know it's not going to be done, but to be fair, a pretty triumphant fight back. If we can finish in a bit of style, let's make the birdie that Tom Watson should have made to become possibly the greatest open champion before Stuart. The worthy champion, maybe not the most wanted. I'm gonna put it out there, but still a very worthy champion. Was probably the greatest open we've seen. Well, we've arrived at the 18th. One heck of a view here. You see pretty much everything that Turnbury has to offer. The hotel, clubhouses, the dormies, the range. See back out to the Elsa Craig stronghold, a couple of bunkers really standing up, staring at you. 250, the last one on the left. So it's a just a smash of driver at that with a fade. Get over and leave ourselves a wedge in. Stay out those traps on the right. hard to see the bounce but it was down the fairway cutting hopefully it's missed the sand right this is where we have to thump one 150 it's not an eight iron it's a nine iron Matthew be bold be brave let's finish in style you've done the hard bit of hitting this fairway bunker there 275 into the wind like 295 pulled up shy 148 nine iron just full tilt at it
lost that in the sky. It looked a little bit left of the flag. Short left, should have hit eight iron. Class. I need a caddy. That's what I need. I need a full-time caddy. Just get me one of them. And I actually, don't let me think for myself. I'm dangerous when I do that. If we get someone thinking for me, you know, with my game, probably be like six under every time. Or not. I wasn't too far off. I've actually only just pitched on the side here and trickled back down a little bit less pulley and I would have had 30, 40 feet. But now it's Scottish wedge time. Roll it up, cozy it up for a nice par. Not a, not a too disappointing round. Six, six. Oh, Matthew. Get in. A disappointing ending, a disappointing ending, but five over par. Not my best stuff today, but the course was truly incredible. Guys, I hope you've only liked the video. Keep watching, plenty more to come, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks to Turnby, let's go.